Hi guys, my name is Severine and today I want to read a little story for you which is called The Boy Who Loved Everyone. And it's really cute. I hope you like it just as much as I do. So let's get into it. It was story time. Everyone wriggled till they were ready to listen. Dimitri was new at nursery. He leaned his head on Liam. I love you, Liam, he said. Liam didn't know what to say, so he said nothing. The teacher began the story. It was about a dragon, a volcano, and a magic teapot. At morning play, Dimitri found Sophie, Stella, and Sue. I love you, he told them, but they giggled and ran away. So Dimitri went to the tree with the big heart-shaped leaves and put his arms around it. I love you, tree, he said, but the tree didn't reply. Some ants marched past. Hello, ants, I love you, said Dimitri, but they kept on marching. It was time for lunch. The food was good. Berth served a huge pile of pudding. I love you, Berth, said Dimitri. You mean you love my custard, said Berth. That afternoon, Dimitri said, I love you, to the class guinea pig. I love you, guinea pig. The paintbrushes, Big Andrew and Little B. I love you. But they joked or blushed or turned away and the guinea pig just burrowed in the straw. At home time, Dimitri told the teacher that he loved her. Dear Dimitri, she said, I know you do. I'll see you tomorrow. Dimitri walked with his mum past the bakery, through the park and over the canal. On a bench sat an old man who looked tired. I love you, old man, said Dimitri. Who are you calling old, snapped the man, and he pulled his coat tighter around him. After that, Dimitri really fell quiet. At bedtime, he whispered, I love you, mum. And I love you, Dimitri, she said. You're my best, best boy. The next morning, Dimitri didn't want to go to school. I told everyone I loved them, and no one said it back. Mum helped him put his coat on and wrapped him up warm. People have lots of different ways of showing how they feel, she said, as they walk towards the canal. When you tell people you love them, they feel it, even if you can't always see it, she explained. Your love spreads out and grows in new places. They saw the old man on the bench. He was opening a tin of tuna and feeding the stray cats breakfast. You see, said Mum, he's saying I love you to the cats. In the park, they saw Berth on her way to school, and she gave a big, big wave when she saw Dimitri. Look, said Mum, she's saying it with her smile. The playground tree with the heart-shaped leaves was filled with singing birds as Mum said goodbye. Beneath the branches, Sue, Stella and Sophie were feeding the birds. Dimitri looked at the tiny birds, hopping with enjoyment, and wished he could join the girls. He stood on his own, feeling uncertain. But then Stella saw him. Come and help us, Dimitri, said the girls, and they gave him a packet of bird seed. One bird jumped onto his hand and tickled his palm with its lightness. Then Liam came over and gave Dimitri a hug. Hello, my friend. Will you sit with me at story time? He said. A warm feeling started to grow inside Dimitri. And when they got to story time, everyone wanted to sit with Dimitri. They made quite a pile. The pile made the teacher laugh. You funny children, she said. I do love you all. This time, the story was about a frog, a mountain and a rabbit who loved everyone. And even the guinea pig enjoyed it.